Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our special Labour Weekend forecast and the outlook for next week. And we've got this enormous high pressure system with us. A lot of farmers and growers aren't necessarily liking it, but all the holiday makers this weekend certainly are going to. So the winds are light, there's a little bit of a breeze through Cook Strait, but the most important thing, at least for those in the north of the country, is that the centre of the high has gone from being in the Tasman to the Pacific. That might not mean a lot to many of you, but for those who live in Auckland and Hamilton and big parts of Northland, the sun's come back out, and in fact Friday is a spectacularly sunny day. So that's the good news there. But we do have a little bit of rain coming in over the next few days. This is the three day rainfall accumulation, most of it down here around Fiordland, and you're talking around 50, 60 millimetres of rain. Further north, you're only talking about a few uh, millimetres, maybe two, three at the most. So just a, a shower really in those other areas, dry for the east. So this is how Saturday lunchtime shapes up for the long weekend. Here's our big high just to the north, set, uh, settled weather over the northern part of the North Island. There might be a few more clouds coming in a bit later on in the day through some of these western areas and there's still the risk of a remaining shower along the western side from about Taranaki southwards and we've got a bit of rain down around Fiordland and a wee bit of early morning spillover around Southland and maybe Otago. I don't think it'll be very much at all but it might be a little bit cloudy at times for you. If you're heading out on the water this weekend here's the uh, wave map and uh, most of the calm areas are in blue so you can see the eastern side of the upper North Island and even to some degree around Cook Strait you're talking about swells that are less than a couple of meters but uh, the scale here shows the larger waves which are three meters and a Above, and that's the yellow orange areas so for, for the most part I think actually the weekend's looking pretty good if you're getting out of to the water. Here's Sunday high pressure dominates still uh, it is driving in an even warmer airflow so all days of this long weekend are warmer than average but the nights they're still a little cool especially around the North Island but on Sunday it'll be a warmer airflow coming through and on Monday it is pretty settled across the country with afternoon downpours popping up which is a little bit summer like so in the afternoons, lovely calm morning, and then you'll see those big cloud buildups through the inland areas of both islands. There might even be an isolated thunderstorm or two as well. Now to next week, and for the next couple of days, Tuesday is pretty much the same as Monday for the North Island. You've still got high pressure in charge, and you've still got those big afternoon downpours, which will be welcomed by some of the farmers who need the rain. But in the South Island, you've got a hot, warm nor'wester. Your daytime highs could be in the mid, maybe even late 20s with a subtropical nor'wester coming through for you at a dry day. And we end on Wednesday, which is a pretty windy day around the South Island and around Cook Strait. The nor'westers are blowing through. The rain returns to the west coast, so it'll be heavy there. Uh, and it might spill over a wee bit into the eastern side, but for the north, that high pressure system is in charge at least until the end of Wednesday and then you'll get a little bit of that west coast rain moving into central parts of the country around Thursday and early Friday. That is all from me, good to be back, have a great long weekend. <laughs>